Hey guys, it's 21 Maxwell here and welcome to episode 4 of the FC Portal save on the Football Manager 2016 beta. You join us for the big one, it is 7th somehow against um, first in the league, so a chance here to claw the gap back on Sport and Lisbon. And since you last joined us, it's just been it's been horrible. Um, we've had an inability to score. As you can see there, top goal scorers are Abukar, Brahimi and Bueno, all in one goal. And literally as soon as we took it, Christian Tello to injury, who said our most assists, our highest average rating, and um, most man of the matches, it says a lot. The two games I've played since the last time, we took on Gladbach in the Champions League. We took an early goal lead thanks to Brahimi, which was a cracking finish. That was absolutely spectacular. That's what I expect for him. And then it all went downhill. Two goals within 60 seconds from Josef Darmic and Andre Hahn. And a third goal by Raphael in 40 minutes, and this was compounded to the misery even worse when Abukar misses on 52 minutes from the penalty spot. So, a lesson to learn the Champions League. Um, we tried to go there, attack, be positive, and it just completely fell apart. After this, we took on uh, Aruka, who are in second place now at home, and they beat us 1 0. And then you see the stats, and you're like, wow. Basically, their goal was a counter within the first couple of minutes. Basically, somehow you've everybody bombing forward, and they literally score what we call a FIFA sweat goal or a shitey, however you want to call it. Cut back, and um, we couldn't score. We bombarded the goal. 18 shots, only five on target. It's very disappointing. We gave the likes of Danilo Pereira and Sergio Oliveira chances, but it just didn't work in midfield. So Sergio was sacrificed. Abacar was terrible. Caleri was terrible. Bueno wasn't much better, and just basically since Christian Tello has dropped out of the team, it's been absolutely horrific. But I think we need proper number 10 to be honest. See somebody that can ping the ball through and create some chances, and hopefully some of our strikers can start being more clinical. So, with that in mind, getting this big one against Sporting, what we've decided to do is change the system up a lot. But I've changed a few team instructions. Um, the plan is to go 4 2 1 1 2. We're going to have a flat back four of Emmanuel Mass, Martin Zande, Maicon, and Maxi Pereira. We'll have Danilo Pereira and Ruben Neves just sitting in front of the defence. Herrera to go box to box. We're going to play Brahimi more central. Just let him get the ball, let him float. We'll give him individual player instructions to just make things happen. And hopefully Abukar and Bueno can score. I say Tello's just not quite fit enough. Uh, and if we need them, we've got Jonathan Caleri on the bench to try and get us some goals. So it's going to be a high pressure match here. I'm interested to see if we line up with a 4 4 2. But if we lose here, I would not be surprised already at this stage if my job is in jeopardy. We'll go control, we'll try and dictate the play. There's a good chance we'll move to attack at one point. But I just can't go over how horrible it's been so far. Uh, two games I expected us to win by a cancer. It hasn't happened. But hey, that might be the reason my portal have been struggling, re struggling recently. Um, and why I found this is a challenge, so they're going to be the favourites, that's that's a worry. Um, but we kind of have us possibly sitting mid table uh, and Sporting potentially being double our points and Benfica being a mile in front ahead already. I'm not even in October, so they've definitely went with the 4 4 2. Um, interesting that it's a kind of defensive left side with Adriano sitting back, he obviously him being primarily a, a left back. We can play in midfield sitting in front of Jefferson. Obviously, we've got Carilio down the right hand side for a bit of pace, and they've went with Slamani and Tio Gutierrez up front. Interestingly, no spot in the team for William Carvalho, Aqualani, or Freddy Montero, and Brian Ruiz is on the bench as well. So, definitely a more conservative team for them. I'm very surprised though that William Carvalho doesn't start ahead of Jean Mario. Like, Mario is decent, but I think you would rather have William Carvalho, Carvalho in um, to break up the play. So, I don't know, might get away with it, but maybe they thought, you know, we've got a lot of playmakers. They might try something similar. So we have Fabio Moura to give the opposition team instructions. And I'll we'll say to the guys, I'm expecting a win because we've been terrible. I'm going to be aggressive to everybody. Just say, you know, we've got to get control of the game um, and make stuff happen. So we'll go out there and grab some goals. We'll sit control to start with. And we'll see what happens. I'm hoping for the best there. So I'm just watching the Chelsea Hall program. I think Oscar's just shot for about 40 yards. Um, might even be more. Might even be for the half really. Not just inside his own half. Uh, inside the Liverpool half, sorry. I mean, you'll be able to save. But here we go, Herrera. Rahimi, Herrera, Abukar, 
And it counts. Oh my god, it counts. We we'll scored at home. It's a miracle. That's what we needed. Like, Hector Herrera is one of those guys who's just been playing well. So I thought, we'll play him, we'll give him the chance in the big game. One of the defenders plays on one side, Abacar, good finish. That's what we need. We need the goals, early doors. Let's hope we can keep this up and finally start to get our season on track. But Jesus Christ, it's a retaining possession tactic uh, and we're down 60-40 on the possession start. That's, that's quite worrying, especially um, at home. But we seem to bizarrely be a team that has more of the ball away from home rather than home when you would expect it to be the opposite way about. But here comes Sporting. Good counter, can we keep a hold of it? Herrera again, Brahimi. Just, I just want him to make magic happen. You know, if we increase his value, sell him on for big money, uh, but get good results out of him. Pereira, Brahimi. And there we go again, that combination of Hector Herrera playing it through, and it's a second goal for Vincent Abukar. That's exactly what we're looking for. Good patient build up. The extra man in the middle creates the space, and he just runs the wrong side. I think it's Naldo. And smash it in the back of the net, barring in. Fantastic. And it just shows we're actually turning up for a, a big game for once. So hopefully, you know, I'll maybe be a, more aggressive to the players more often, but um as a real real disappointing possession stat. I'd like us to be controlling the ball a lot more. And, and to see the stats like that is, is pretty disappointing at the moment. But 2 0 half time, that's as long as we're getting the three points, as long as we're getting the win, I suppose I can't really complain. So far, so we'll see the boys at half time. Very pleased with your performance. I think they're going to try and attack us more, so we'll go in the counter, and hopefully, you know, we can we can surprise them when they try to bombard us, and we can get that third goal. There's no point in trying to push the play. Although I'm always a big fan of pushing the play, trying to get that third goal, killing the team off. I just feel it's you know they're going to come, they're going to come at us. We may as well just try and soak it up and and hit them in the counter. See so what they do then, Jefferson. Ball in. And that is Slamani out jumping. I think that's Emmanuel Massey's out jumped at the back post. It's a hell of a ball in for Jefferson. Great ball in. Yep, it's just Emmanuel Mass, and it's like ah, uh, the keeper Iker's got to do better than that. You know, you got to worry. Is uh, is Casillas just far, far too small there? But that's disappointing. Now the pressure's really on. I don't want to make a change too early, although we've got a couple of people low in fitness. The performances don't seem to be too bad, this is going to be awful. This is going to Aquilani, so I think we'll make our first move, and it is going to be Danilo Pereira coming off for Mbula. No need to do a team talk at the moment or anything like that, we'll see how this holds out. Very lucky not giving away a penalty, unfortunately it's going to be more bombardment. Boys, a bit of pressure. Adrian, Carilio. And we get lucky as Teo hits the post. Very, very lucky there. Can we get a counter from this though? Ruben Neves, Brahimi, Abukar for the hat trick, and the highlight stops. That was a bit of an anti climax. But 2 0, 2 1 up at the moment. 25 minutes to go. They've made another change here. I think that was Freddie Montero coming on, so we bit of pace, a wee nippy striker. Who they brought in from, um, what is the Seattle Sounders who he's from? He was Herrera, Bueno, good, that's a great touch. Right, come on, Brahimi, you're the man we expect to make things happen. It is weird having no wing backs bombing forward, but I thought obviously, you know, it's, it's against sport and we don't want to be completely taken apart by them. Abacar on the hat trick, and it's a great save from Patricio. Absolutely fantastic save there from Ray Patricio. It's Bueno. Put it back out. Well, I don't put it back into that, and thankfully we win the foul. Although, will we make anything happen from it? I doubt it because I've set a half on it for some reason. Although, it wasn't really, it was actually well worked. Fair play to them. Another chance here. Ball in, Maxi Pereira. Lucky Mike on. Just make sure nothing stupid, Brahimi. Nothing stupid. Bring the ball back in the area. Work it in. And unfortunately, they managed to. To get rid. So I think we'll make another change. Ruben Neves, uh, Neves is. I'll just go with Neves, right? Neves is struggling. Uh, we'll bring in Andre Andre. We'll make a quick dash to the tactics board just to kind of move a few things about. What we'll do is we'll have Mbula just sitting as a ball winner. 
I love Andre. Andre is a deep line. I don't want too many people bombing forward, you know, but we'll go with that at the moment. See if we can ensure we get the three points here because that's, that's a massive three points, you know. We only need to get the three points just to make sure our season's back on track. And if we can beat Sporting Lisbon, then that's a massive confidence boost. So it's Pereira, Paul and Abukar, and it's the hat trick, or is it another own goal? It's an Abukar hat trick. Finally, we've got some goals. The big man grabs a match ball. Good ball in there from Maxi Pereira on his weak foot, and I would not give that to Abukar. I'd say that's the defender's own goal, but okay, Abukar with a goal. Striker's instinct there and he takes the match ball home with him and we'll make a final change which is going to be Jonathan Caleri on for Alberto Bueno. But it's good to know that we can win these high pressure games. Hopefully that gives us some confidence going into the Champions League as well. We take on the likes of um, Leon and Dynamo Kiev, I think there. Uh, so they'll be tough games, so hopefully we can take for this. Brahimi, oh, good chance there for four, but good to see we're finally putting some good chances together. And playing on the counter as well is actually seeming to help us in the second half. So maybe we'll, we'll start looking to this kind of system. Control and encounter, because I was always the guy that played attacking football. I always wanted to be on the front foot. But maybe soaking up the pressure and, and hitting teams on the break with our pace could be the way going forward. It'll just be interesting to see how it works against teams that play like 5 at the back and, and similar to Belenesses who played 5 2 2 1 0 with the furthest man forward being an attacking midfielder. But a great victory, absolutely delighted with that. Um, hopefully that'll get me some more time. We'll say the boys passionately. Well done, lads. Great result. Great from Abukar. Rightfully the man of the match. You see there, they had 21 shots to 14, they actually had more on target, although we had a better percentage of shots on target. We were just a wee bit more clinical, but we could be more clinical than that. Ideally, I want to try and get to, you know, we get 60% of our shots on target, you know, that's going to make goals, but why am I complaining? We're third, we know we're, we've closed the gap by two points, and it's a massive win, which I'm sure the fans will be happy with, and I get an achievement as well for Abacar's hat-trick, my first hat-trick in FM. 16. So I mean it puts us in a decent position, 11 points, that's cool. And um, we'll see how Benfica do over the weekend. Fixtures coming up will be Dynamo Kiev in the Champions League and Leon, that's cool. We've only got one more league game really for the foreseeable future which is Madeira. Hopefully we get a good victory there, then we start the Taca de Portugal. don't know if I'm going to take it serious, I might just kind of go out early doors. The board don't really care about it, so maybe just play a B team or something. Get put out, and then that gives us a couple of free weekends. We're going forward, we'll get Estadil at home, the other Madeira team away from home, like so Victoria set bills. So, I mean, we don't really have a massive, massive league game that's going to cause us problems until probably December against Braga away, and then that tough one away to Benfica. I think that actually means we get near the end of the season, we'll have a couple more trickier away games, but the, well, I say trickier away games, no, games you expect to win but won't win. And the home games will be the tough one. But overall, I'm pretty happy. Let's just make sure the board's happy. Pretty much at the moment, I think everything's alright. You know, I think they're surprised we've done okay in the Champions League to, to be there. You know, I think they know it's going to be a tough group. So we'll see what happens. And, um, and hopefully, we'll be alright. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you get any comments regarding the series or just FM16 in general, put them in the comments section below, guys. Always happy to discuss FM. If you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at Twitter one Maxwell as well. I so just usually tweet about FM and wrestling and football in general anyway. But until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all real soon. Bye bye.